Hey there, Lickin' Riffers! Welcome back to yet another awesome guitar lesson here on Lickin' Riff, in which I would like to teach you one of the most effective and yet worst sounding exercises that I personally enjoy. Okay? Um, <laughs> it's one of my favorite exercises, but it sounds awful. Uh, I just want to give you a heads up. Um, because every time you play this exercise, you get a different result. That's the beauty of it. I call it the chaotic control exercise. And I'm going to explain what it means. And there's a reason why I'm not playing anything yet. Okay, I want to explain the rationale behind the chaotic control exercise. Now, by chaotic control, I mean um, getting in your own way intentionally. Okay, interfering with your own playing and yet um, becoming flexible enough in your own playing to latch on to whatever new exercise you find, okay? Whatever new direction. Um, an apt metaphor for this exercise would be changing the channels on an old radio where you just tune into different stations and change the station so you hear different snippets of music and different snippets of people talking or arguing and then you have a commercial and then you have rock music and then you have folk music and then you have metal and then you have uh, a symphony that's what this chaotic control exercise should sound like okay the premise of the exercise is this and then i'm going to try to play something every time your hands get used to something you change it you change the style you change what you play you change the chord progression, you change the rhythm, you change the solo, you change from rhythm to solo, to chords, to finger style, to whatever, to harmonics, okay? You have to get in your own way and find a new idea. And when you start getting used to the idea, when you just start liking the idea and getting used to it and getting into it, change it again into something completely new. That's chaotic control because the more in control you are, the better you get in your own way. Okay, that's, that's the best way I can put it. And there's no way to explain what this exercise does to you, musically, mentally, physically, other than actually playing it. So you can start with something simple, okay, like a, a solo, and then just change the channels. Pretend that you're changing stations. You're searching for a station on an old radio. So...
getting in my own way and trying to change genres, trying to change the, the, the character of what I'm playing in mid riff, not falling in love with, that, with what I'm playing at the moment. Okay, I'm, I'm, the moment that I feel comfortable, the moment that I feel convenient, that, that, that I like something that I'm playing, I change it. Okay, I change it. It can be different styles of chords. It can be bass movements. It can be um, country. It can anything. The moment I start enjoying a riff, I stop it and I and I play something different. Now, obviously, my hands played something right now. So if I try to give you another example, I'm probably going to play something similar to what I just played. Okay. So I do this exercise every now and then. Okay, uh, especially when I learn something new, especially when I have, uh, when, when I'm practicing um, a song or an arrangement or something that I can add to this exercise. Um, okay, just changing the sounds, changing the, the chords that I'm using. Um, they, just whatever my fingers want to play, I, I, if I play the high strings, then I go to the low strings. If I play the low strings, I play a chord. If I play uh, jazz chords, then I go to barred chords. If I, go to, if I play barred chords, I go play uh, a sort of a, a, I don't know, a bluesy lick. Um, and it's different with the pick, it's different with finger style. You can start with a pick, throw it in the middle of the exercise, go to finger style. Um, you can also have, um, I don't know, a slide ready so you can add slide to it. Whatever you want to play is fine. Whatever you want to play, uh, you can... Okay, just change it drastically. You start playing something, you change it drastically to something completely different. That's the chaotic control exercise. Now, you might think, Hey, this is this is nonsense. The, the, I, I don't understand why I wasted my time watching this video. Okay, so don't try it. Uh, but as I mentioned at, at the beginning of the video, you you will not know what this exercise can do for you until you try it. And it's difficult. It's difficult. It's not easy to change rhythms and genres mid lick, mid phrase. It's not. It's not easy. It's it's pretty pretty, pretty tricky um, to get in your own way and not get hung on uh, to one idea. Chaotic control. Thank you very much for watching. Go try it, and uh, I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now. Enjoy.